Today, I'm going to be reviewing this bad boy right here. I can do that accent. I'm Chinese. YouTube, what's breaking? I'm Justin, and you are tuning in to J Chung TV, where we discuss all things streetwear related. At the time I picked this up, my city was still going through the lockdown from coronavirus! Coronavirus! And I just couldn't get a haircut. Only recently, I got a haircut. Give you guys a sneak peek. I think it's still a little bit too short. I'm growing it out from this buzz cut I had before, but it's all good. It is what it is. It's a process. Bruh. We'll get to that length. Being a self-conscious mother I needed a hat to cover up the mess on top of my head during the lockdown. And also as it grows out, that's like a six month period. I needed a dope hat ASAP. I have a lot of standard regular brimmed hats like this base pro shops one right here. I really like this hat, not gonna lie. It's simple, fits really well, and it's cheap, but there's nothing unique or different about it. You know how we do on this channel. We like to experiment. How do we experiment? Well, first you want to write a scientifically valid hypothesis. Psych! This is J Chung TV. Not your boring science class. Call me Walter Tight. Yo! In fashion, a good way to experiment is just to pick up pieces that are different. Me, I chose a bucket hat. I'm not saying the bucket hat is some revolutionary fashion discovery I just made. I'm not saying I'm the Christopher Columbus of bucket hats. I mean, if I was, I would have found a snapback and then claimed it to be a bucket hat. What I am trying to say is that in terms of mainstream fashion, the bucket hat isn't exactly a staple. It's bold, it's unique, and you're gonna need some balls to pull it off. In conclusion, Christopher Columbus is a prick. Let's get on to the actual review. So Kangle is a British company famous for their bucket hats. This model right here is the Liquid Mercury, which is different from the Bermuda. The Bermuda is seen on LL Cool J, ASAP Ferg, even Run DMC. So the Bermuda has been in the hip hop sphere for a long time. In general, I don't like things that are super mainstream. Call me hipster. But there's also other reasons why I chose this one, the Liquid Mercury, over the popular Bermuda one, which I'll discuss next. One of the biggest things is I'm not a huge fan of that rounded Bermuda shape. It low-key looks like a dickhead. Metaphor game crazy though. You're also wearing it on your head. So literally a dickhead. All jokes aside, the Bermuda seems to have this bulkier profiled shape, at least what I can tell in pictures. And I have a big head, so I cannot do bulky hats. The material was a huge selling factor for me in choosing this one over the Bermuda. On the Bermuda hat is this fur, almost carpet-like material. On the Kangol website, it says it's a nylon acrylic proprietary blend, which relax Kangol, you're making hats, not the iPhone 25. But with bucket hats, which are already loud as it is, I feel like having that furry carpet-like material just makes the piece even louder. So depending on what you're looking for, for in your outfit, loud versus subtle, that's something you should look out for. On the Liquid Mercury, it's a 60-40 cotton polyester blend, and I feel like it looks a lot more subtle, and it's a little easier to put into your outfits. Another thing about the material is how hot it's gonna get. So I feel like bucket hats look best in summer outfits, and that furry carpet-like nylon acrylic material, that's gonna get hot as hell. Nobody wants a sweaty, knees weak, arms as heavy hat, me, I prefer a slimmer, shadier hat. Yeah. So want the real slim shady, please stand up. All right, we'll get closer for you guys to see some details. So as I mentioned, the liquid mercury is a 60-40 cotton polyester blend. It has this shiny texture to it. It kind of reminds me of satin material. Give you guys a close up. Hopefully my phone can focus because I'm way too broke to afford a real camera. But anyways, I like the shine to it because it gives it a little bit more pop than if it was fully cotton. From the couple times I've worn it, it hasn't gotten crazy hot at all. I paid $80 Canadian for this. That's about 60 US. Quality seems all right. Let's see if it lasts the test of time. On the front, there's a small Kango logo embroidered onto it. Nice and simple, but just to let these haters know what's up. Inside, there's a tag that says it's a British company, made in China, like me. Quick side note, I actually had to re-record this whole video because I was making Australian accents, Australian references, because I thought the kangaroo meant that Kangol was an Australian company. Moral of the story, look at the f tags. 
In terms of sizing, I went with a size large and I think it fits pretty nicely. My head is 23 inches in circumference for reference. My head is on the larger side of things, so when in doubt, I always go with the larger head. If you also suffer from big head syndrome, aka intelligence, it's better to go with the bigger hat just to keep everything in proportion. So the hat isn't structured and it flexes and bends to how you want it to fit. You can play around with it. I usually like to tilt it up a bit and then fold the brim over my ears. You can fold the brim out, but then it looks like a damn scarecrow, bruh. And you know, we attract them bows, not scare them away. You know what I mean? As I've mentioned, I think bucket hats look best in summer outfits. I've tried wearing this with pants or jeans and it just looks kind of awkward. So I'm gonna stick with the shorts. Here's a quick outfit for you guys. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully it gave you guys some laughs. I really do like this hat and I'm gonna wear it in a lot of summer outfits. Heck, you've probably seen me wear this in some videos already, so don't judge. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Really helps the channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. Comment down below what your favorite type of hat is. Subscribe, I make streetwear videos every week. Peace, I see you soon, boy.